All right, we are live, guys. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, I'm in the screen now. I think I am. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, hopefully, you guys are all doing really, really good. I want to talk to you guys about something that I've experienced in my life when it comes to having a roommate, somebody live with you, and just some side tips to actually doing this, especially if you're going to school, university, or college, or thinking about doing it, and uh, you know that you need to have a roommate, whether you're renting out a house, renting out an apartment, or you're living on campus. Um, some people, they're not living on campus, so you gotta rent an apartment, and you know, sometimes to pay pay for rent, you need to have a second person there, which there's not really a problem with it. It's just when you actually get a roommate, there's some things you really gotta know, and I've had friends that don't do this, and I've done this myself before, and it's like you gotta fall down on your face before you can get back up and realize that you shouldn't do that again, and that is not setting up boundaries, meaning like, if you are living with another girl or another guy, if you're a guy, you're typically living with another guy. If you're a girl, you're probably gonna room with another girl. Sometimes it's opposite if you're a couple, um, but most of the time, it's not the case. So when it comes down to it, guys, if you don't set boundaries, a lot of shit's gonna piss you off. I'm just gonna tell you right up front here, a lot of stuff's gonna piss you off, um, especially if you don't have like a boundary of like, you know, cleaning, um, you know, showering and cleaning up stuff, uh, doing laundry, etc. Okay, you're gonna have a very messy apartment or very messy house or a dorm room if uh, you don't have that 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 precedence in there. So just make sure the best tip I can give you guys is make sure when you room with someone that there's boundaries and guidelines you are both following. You're both gonna do your own dishes. You're both gonna kind of pitch in for food and ask each other when you're gonna eat each other's food if you are gonna share food. Okay, because sometimes you buy your favorite food and boom, it's gone and you spent money on it. And when you're in university and college, I mean, man, that ice cream, it's expensive because everything else, you know, is going towards schooling and studying. So when somebody does that, it can piss you off. And that's that's one thing a lot of my friends personally have experienced is when they're rooming with someone and they have no previous history with that person. It's just a random person. And, you know, they're getting to know them is you're rooming with someone you're getting to know. So they start after a month, after two months, they start in getting into their habits and you start seeing their true light and you can get into arguments with them. And it can be not a very pretty sight if you don't have set boundaries of what you guys are both doing and how you're both participating uh, to pay rent, to, to keep everything clean, to keep everything tidy instead of living in a sloppy place, okay? And I hope that makes sense. So that's really like the best tip I can give you guys. Um, this has happened to me before and it's gone south where you know uh, things are good in the beginning and then the smallest things just start to piss you off and you know it adds up from there laziness not being tidy and I mean no one at least I don't like living in a messy place so it's just like if you're gonna live in a studio apartment if you're gonna live in an apartment in general and your roommate is sloppy or there's no set boundaries you're kinda just letting them off the leash uh, especially if you're the one that signed the lease agreement on the apartment or you both did I mean you wanna make sure you guys are both on the same page at all times and the best tip I can give you on top of that is communication. If you are uh, all bundled up with stress and anxiety because your roommate is doing shit you don't like, I mean, you need to communicate with them just in the beginning. Proper communication is what's gonna build a healthy roommate relationship, okay? If you don't communicate, then there's no point in doing it. You just, you're living with a stranger by then. Um, so those are my tips guys communication set boundaries if you don't do that you're gonna fall into the misery of really just having a stranger as a roommate and having to deal with their shit and um, I'm sure it'll make both of you guys uncomfortable so I hope this makes sense it's a very basic knowledge but I o overlooked this completely when I got started uh, in my journeys of studies and so did my friends and you know you get really excited for your first time you finally moved out you're in a room you have someone else that's not a parent to dictate to you what to do and um, you know you can you can get in the habit of you know getting lazy and just going with the flow the ebb and flow and the next thing you know the smallest things just start pissing you off clogged toilet dirty shower I mean it, it all adds up and I know you guys know what I'm talking about for those of you who have experienced it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as I did sharing it with you. Not very long. I wish I could add more onto it, but those are the biggest ones I can share with you. Let me know if you agree down below and let me know if you want to add anything down below. I'd love to see you guys start in a conversation and sharing your viewpoints on it. But uh, those are the biggest ones, guys. Biggest ones. And making sure obviously you're paying rent and you're both paying half of it. Um, is another big one too and you both sign an agreement so if they miss paying rent I mean they're on the hook too they can't just walk away from that so you want to make sure that's that's something that's in place too but I hope you guys enjoyed this um, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover and before I go 
the best tip I could give you if you don't want a roommate, <laughs> all right, is look at additional income sources while you're going to college, while you're going to university. That's a big thing. I mean, you can go uh, work for companies and manage their social media networks and you can get paid an extra thousand, extra 500 bucks a month. And that goes a long way. You could sell things online. And that's one of the things that I started doing in 2014. I started selling things online, building a business online. And I was able to, in five months, guys, create a full-time income on the internet doing that. That's not average or typical, but uh, I was looking at additional income streams. I was sick of working a job, and I wanted time, freedom, and leverage. So I looked at online business and entrepreneurship, and I went all in. I worked really hard. It took time and energy, but uh, it paid off after five months. So I would encourage you, if you don't want a roommate, definitely look at uh, you know additional income sources for yourself so that maybe you could pay rent all yourself and not have that uh, experience. So... Appreciate you guys. Um, it's been fun. I'm rambling now. If you want to know more about my story and how I was able to do that, I'll leave a link down below to my site. It's 123marketingtips.com. But other than that, I am out. Peace.